Lewis Lambert was 15 years old when he received a call to work as a page at the United States Capitol. There was just one catch. He needed to be in Washington, D.C. the next day. After a quick shopping trip with his father to buy two blue suits, ties, and a box of white shirts, he boarded a plane for the first time, and a storied Louisiana political career began to take flight. Born in 1940, Lewis grew up in Sorrento, Louisiana, where his parents owned a small corner grocery store and his father worked as a mailman. After receiving a job as a page at the Louisiana State Capitol on account of his good grades in civics class, his mother encouraged him to write letters to his congressman, asking for an opportunity to serve in Washington, D.C. After being accepted and working one of the most exciting jobs he'd ever been given, Lewis graduated from Capitol Page School in 1958, receiving his diploma from Richard Nixon and hearing the keynote address from President John F. Kennedy. He returned home and enrolled at Southeastern University. While working as a lifeguard at the Gonzales swimming pool that summer, he met his future wife, Mary Gail Smith. The two courted for four years while he earned a BA in political science from LSU. After graduation, Lewis put himself through law school, taking classes at night so he could earn money teaching and driving a school bus during the day. In 1968, he opened a law practice in Gonzales. Three years later, he ran for and won a seat in the Louisiana Senate. Then, in 1974, he was elected to the Public Service Commission, where he would serve 18 years, including six as chairman. When the field for governor was left wide open because Governor Edwin Edwards was term limited, Lewis ran and beat out a field of six Democrats, including heavyweights Edgar Mouton, Paul Hardy, and Jimmy Fitzmorris. He would lose the runoff to Republican Dave Treen in a race decided by fewer than 10,000 votes and considered the closest governor's race in modern Louisiana history. But his political career didn't end there. He went on to manage the presidential campaign of astronaut and Senator John Glenn in 1984, serve as Senate President Pro Tem in 2004, and was appointed to the LSU Board of Supervisors by Governor Mike Foster. Throughout his life, Lewis has remained devoted to his wife and family. He and Mary adopted three children through Catholic Social Services in Baton Rouge. He was an active Rotarian, served as chairman of the Hart Fund at the March of Dimes, and developed four residential subdivisions in Ascension Parish. While Lewis Lambert's faith, family, and community have kept him grounded, that never stopped his political career from reaching rarefied heights. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Lewis Lambert. <laughs> <laughs>